Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize World of Warcraft with a new update and I'm going to be covering all of the best windows as well as the game settings to increase your FPS, reduce stuttering and rubber banding issues. Make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and open it up. Head over to the gaming tab and then click on game bar and turn this thing off. It is an overlay service which keeps using your CPU and GPU resources and disabling that will help you to get extra FPS. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and this time you're gonna have to turn this thing on. It uses advanced features to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. After that, click on the graphic settings underneath and you have to enable optimizations for windowed games as it will use advanced features in compatible games to reduce input latency. Click on the graphic settings underneath and you'll find default high performance GPU. Select your native graphic card over here and then click on the add desktop app button. You have to go to the download location of your World of Warcraft. So you have to head over to battle.net, World of Warcraft and you have to go over to retail and then you'll find wow.exe simply click on the add button and once that is added scroll all the way down to find it select it and for the gpu preference select high performance over here once that is done simply close it and now your pc will use your graphic card to render the game next step is compatibility settings and for that go to the same download location and once you're over here right click on your wow.exe and click on properties click on the compatibility tab and select disable full screen optimizations this will fix all kind of black screen issues and stuttering issues if that are being caused by the full screen optimizations once it is done click on the apply button and close it but before moving ahead i would like to introduce you guys to sky coach which is an amazing platform for personalized coaching and upscaling your gaming experience Skycoach has a library of over 103 games at this moment with blockbusters like World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Fortnite and a lot of other games. For example, World of Warcraft. Select it and over here you'll find all of the services that they provide. You guys can grind for gold, complete raids over here. If you guys are facing issues with dungeon, you guys can use the dungeon boost. And if leveling up your character is difficult, you guys can use power leveling and it works like a charm. Simply select the service that you want to buy and click on it. Add your current level and your desired level. And then for the completion method, you can use self play. That means that you will be playing along with your coach and he will be doing everything and you just have to run behind it and he'll help you to level up your account. You also have a piloted mode in which you have to give your account to the pro and they will do all the things for you while you rest and enjoy your life. Skycoach.gg has a 4.7 star rating on trust pilot with over 19,000 reviews. They also have a live support services which replies in a few minutes. I would definitely recommend you guys to go check out skycoach.gg for free from the link in the description below. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor so simply click on edit group policy and then once you're over here double click on computer configuration administrative templates windows components and then app privacy right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is set to enabled then for the policy property you have to select it to force deny and click on the apply button once that is done it will help you to deny all of the applications running in the background allowing you to get extra fps Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and simply go over to local disk C. Click on the create button and name it wow so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because in the next step we're going to be changing some crucial windows settings. Always good to have a backup and once that is done close it and close system properties. The next step is world of warcraft fps pack I'll be leaving a free download link right in the description below. You have 6 folders over here. The first one is cpu priority in which I have left amd and intel cpu priority. Both of these priorities contain correct d word values for your processor to improve its performance. If you guys have an amd cpu double click to apply the amd cpu priority and if you guys have an intel cpu double click to apply the Intel CPU priority. Second folder is WOW priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Third folder is RAM optimization which does the same thing as CPU optimizations but for your RAM. Over here you need to select the RAM according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM installed on my PC so I'm going to be selecting 32 GB over here and double clicking to apply that. This will apply the best D word values for your RAM to increase its performance. Once again, I have left a reset to default just in case. 
Fourth one is the power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan which helps you to disable all kind of power saving features which will help you to fix rubber banding issues and other stuttering issues over here. Right click on it and select run as administrator. This will run a powershell command on your PC and to access this power plan, double click on power plans and you will see show additional plans over here. Select and click on ultimate performance to activate this power plan. Once that is done, head over to the fifth folder which is unwanted services in, and over here I have left all of these services which are absolutely running in the background but they are not being utilized and to remove those services you have to double click and apply every single one of these registry over here unless you use any bluetooth or printer services i would highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of these services over here to improve the performance by a ton and once again if at any point they are causing any kind of issues head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on Sixth folder over here is the useful programs folder in which I have left two very simple programs. The first one will help you to clean your cache files on your PC. Simply right click and run it as administrator. Once you're over here, press enter and this will delete all of your temporary files off of your PC and improve your performance. And I would highly recommend you guys to do it time to time on your PC. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run it as administrator. Now once you're over here, you have to look for your graphic card and select the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high and click on the apply button. This will allow you to optimize the performance of your GPU by changing the interrupt priority. Once all of that is done, simply close the FPS pack. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together to open up task manager. Head over to the fourth tab over here which is generally startup apps. You'll find all of the applications which you have installed on your PC and I would highly recommend you guys to disable as many as you can except any kind of anti-cheat service like VG Tray over here. You need them to ensure that your games run but other than that I would highly recommend you guys to only keep the ones enabled which you use frequently right after the boot of your PC. This will disable many services running on your PC right from the boot and reduce your BIOS time that is your booting time and also help you to gain performance while you're playing in the games because there are less number of services is running in the background. Next step is services.msc and for that simply press windows and R key together and then type in services.msc. Press enter and once it opens up you have to select anything and click on S on your keyboard. Simply find sysmin in this list, right click on that and then click on its properties. Over here for the startup type, make sure that it is set to disabled and if the service is running, I would recommend you guys to stop it. Sysmin consumes a lot of CPU resources and after disabling that and restarting your PC, you guys can see a drastic improvement. Once all of that is done, you have to open up your game and follow the best in game settings. Alright, once you open up your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Over here you have to come down to system and you'll find graphic settings over here. Set your monitor to your primary monitor and your display mode should be set to full screen. Then for your resolution you can select your resolution according to your monitor and the render scale is the one that matters the most over here. If you guys are facing micro stuttering or anything just slide it down to 95% and see if that fixes it. This will downscale your resolution to get extra FPS. So you guys can try that. Then for vertical sync, I highly recommend you guys to disable that because it imposes a limit on your FPS. For the low latency mode, you guys can go with built-in or if you guys have other option, you guys can go for that. And then for the anti-aliasing, I have gone with advanced. And for the image based techniques, I have gone with FXAA low. This is really fast and simple and it is good for better FPS. For the multi-sampling techniques, I have gone with color depth, 8x. Once that is done, you have to scroll down and you'll find graphics quality. For the base game quality, I have selected 2 and this will set all of your shadows, liquid detail, particle density, SSAO, depth effect, everything to low. Then you wanna have to scroll down and you'll find view distance. You can simply increase that but it will consume a lot more FPS than you are currently using so just make sure that you have that in mind. And under the advanced tab you guys have to disable tripper buffering. For texture filtering you guys can see that I'm currently using 4x anisotropic and as soon as I increase this to 16x my FPS instantly drops down. So what you have to do is simply use the lowest one available over here that is 2x for me and if I simply go for bilinear it goes up to 390 FPS that is actually a drastic boost. So for texture filtering, go with bilinear. For the ray traced shadows, simply disable that. Resample quality, use AMD FX Super Resolution if that is available for you or NVIDIA DLSS. For the VRS mode, I have gone with disable. Graphics API, set to DX12 if that is available for you. And physics interaction should be set to player only. For the graphics card, change this from auto detect to your native graphic card so that it does not use your CPU based graphics. And then disable the FPS limits over here. 
Under the compatibility tab, you'll find optional GPU features, async resource creation, multi threaded rendering, and advanced work submit. Check all four of these options over here to get better performance. Simply click on the apply button and simply go back. And now you guys can play your game with the highest FPS possible. That is somewhat around. 355 fps that i'm getting in real time so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and i trust you all we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out